Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's tutorial is going to be a fall inspired makeup tutorial perfect for any holiday party or even Thanksgiving. Super excited to show you guys this look so keep on watching. So first I'm going to apply the Ole Hendrickson serum to my face. This is going to help hydrate because my the foundation I'm using is really drying. I am also going to moisturize my face using the Clarins moisturizer. I'll link it down below. I don't exactly remember the name of it. And my eye cream is the Clinique All About the Eyes eye cream. My under eye area gets super dry so it's very important that I moisturize it. Next I'm priming my eyes using the Too Faced Glitter Glue. I find that this helps keep the shadow in place all day more so than any other eyeshadow primer I've ever used. I am also going to prime my lids using the MAC Paint Pot and Painterly. This is going to help neutralize the eyelids, you know, take away all the discoloration and make it just a neutral canvas for our eyeshadow. To set the primers, I'm using the MAC eyeshadow in Shroom. This is just going to set it and make sure it doesn't move at all. Starting the whole eyeshadow process, I am taking MAC Soft Brown. This is the perfect transition shade. I use it in like almost every look I make. It's just a very neutral brown that's going to help ease the transition of all the eyeshadow colors we're putting on our lids. And I'm blending that out using the... Sigma E40 blending brush. It is a long taper blending brush that's gonna help. Now I'm going in with the NARS eyeshadow dual in Isolde and I'm going to take the um, bronzy color and that's gonna be our crease outer corner color. It's a nice dark bronze but it's not too dark and it's just perfect. It's, it doesn't make the eyes like so dark and that's what I love about it I want the concentration of this look to be the lips really and I'm taking this all over the crease the outer corner and even the inner corner just a little bit to add more depth and then I'm taking the light gold color and that's gonna go right in the middle of the lid going back in with that bronzy color I am now just going over it and making sure that I get it as dark as I want because I realized that the gold was just too gold and I want to bring out more of the bronze and so I'm just building it up as much as I want and then I'm also taking the soft brown again to you know blend out all the harsh lines my eyeliner of choice is always the Stila stay all day waterproof eyeliner um, it really is such a precise eyeliner pen that you can make a wing whichever way you want I just love this pen so much and it lasts all day so I'm just winging it out um, you can do a wing you don't have to do a wing it's really up to you I also find that this look looks really good with brown eyeliner as well but I just chose to make it a little bit more dramatic today starting with the face now and I'm taking the Tatcha hydrating mist I believe it's called and this is just gonna add a level of moisture and just ooh, glowingness just like the Max Strobe cream does which I put on next and then to hide those pores I'm taking the Too Faced Prime and Poreless primer and putting that in my t-zone and anywhere I have really large pores I just love this stuff the foundation that I'm using today is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 24 hour foundation I believe it's called or no full coverage foundation that's what it is and this foundation I have a love-hate relationship with it I love that it's full coverage but it really is very thick and you feel it on your face um, and it's really hard to blend but you just have to make sure you blend it really really well so as you can see I'm taking my Sigma F80 brush and just really blend it, blending that everywhere making sure that's blended into my eyebrows and my hairline and even my ears a little bit um, it's really hard to blend but eventually you get it and yeah and I look like a ghost but then I keep blending <laughs> soon I won't look like a ghost I promise <laughs> Now I am concealing with the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. This is my favorite concealer of all time. It's super not drying and it's a great highlight color as well. And it just hides all of your puffiness and circles. And I am also just taking it as a highlighter and a concealer, um, but I'm taking it on the bridge of my nose, my forehead, and I am blending it with the Real Techniques contour brush, believe it or not. Um, yes, I use a contour brush to blend my concealer. That's funny. Anyway, um, it takes quite a bit to blend this, but you gotta make sure it's completely blended before you move on. So blend, blend, blend. That is the key to makeup for everything. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. 
to set the concealer, I am using the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder and a Real Techniques brush and I'm just setting my under eye concealer as well as the concealer I put on the bridge of my nose and forehead and all that. Next up is eyebrows and I have an eyebrow tutorial I'll link down below but in case you're wondering I use the Brow Wiz in Auburn and Dark Brown as well. So I'm just taking the two colors that I use on my lids and I'm putting them on my lower lash line, you know, minus soft brown because yeah, and then I'm blending it up with a precision eyeshadow brush I think it's what it is then I'm taking the Charlotte Tilbury film star bronze and glow set I believe it's what it's called I'll link it down below I promise and this is um, the most gorgeous blonde uh, bronzer that you can ever find especially if you have my skin tone I am contouring with the NARS Laguna bronzer now and I'm using a MAC contour brush for that I'll link the number down below as well and I'm not doing such heavy duty contour but I just wanted a little bit more color than the bronzer was giving me for blush I'm using the benefit rocketeur blush and I'm putting it on the apples of my cheeks using a MAC contour brush Lord, I just tend to yeah and then I put I'm using the real techniques powder brush to just blend everything out to highlight my brow bone, I'm using the MAC Pigment in Vanilla, um, and I love that cute little brush from MAC, it's a tiny shader brush, and I just love that the, like, the glow that this pigment gives me. For a cheekbone highlight, I'm using the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector, this is the liquid one, and I just love this stuff so much. It's like a good um, primer for, for highlighter, I guess. And I'm taking the highlighting side of the Charlotte Tilbury Bronze and Glow set, and then I'm also taking MAC, MAC Soft and Gentle, and I love the Sephora highlight brush too, by the way. I mean, the fan brush is what it is. My top two mascaras of all time are the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. I love this combination. So I'm basically putting on two coats of each mascara because I didn't want to put on false eyelashes. You can put on false eyelashes if you wish, but I didn't want to. So that's pretty much it for the eyes. And then we're moving on to the lips. For lips, I'm using the MAC Lip Liner in Brick. And I'm just lining my lips and filling them in because this is a good base for the lip color we're going to use. And the lip color that I'm going to use is the Charlotte Tilbury Glastonbury. I really love that color. It's such a pretty color. You'll see it in a second. I love the packaging too, by the way. Um, it's a very nice, deep, burgundy berry color. And I just love it. It's probably more suited for December than anything but I also love it it's just a good fall color honestly since this is a matte lipstick I am topping it off with the MAC lip glass and I believe this is Russian red but I'll double check and I'll link it down below but I'm just putting that in the center of my lips to just give it the pop of color because you know it's a brighter red than the berry red and then of course sticking my finger in my mouth to make sure that no lipstick gets in my teeth and I am spraying myself with Fix Plus. That is it for this tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you recreate it, please let me know. I really love this look. I think it's perfect for the holidays that are coming up. I wish you guys happy holidays and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is the very long-awaited brow routine.